Welcome back to our channel, guys, Gumpley University, where we are not the teachers, but students just like you. If you're new here and want to learn everything there is to know about the art of Gumpla, and you want to take your Gumpla game to the next level, or you're just a fan of Gundam, Mecha, Model Kits, and Anime, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you're not late to class. Today we're doing a little heads up comparison of a couple different nippers that I have here. Starting off right here, I have my Mr. Tools nippers. These are my, what I would call my robust nippers. Um, really, really strong blades. Then we have the good old SPN 120 God Hands, which these are the nippers that I use pretty much daily for everything. Then we have the USA Gundam Store single bladed nipper. And these are meant to be comparable to your God Hands and other nippers like that. Shout out to USA Gundam Store for giving me these. So I figured since I have these and another set of new nippers, which is the d STA nippers. We'll go ahead and do a comparison of these. And actually, no, we're actually gonna add one more blade to the battle here. KPN 95s. And this is the Mrs. Her new mainstay blades, probably. Or at least secondary blades. Since we have all these blades here, I figured we would test them out and see how they do. So what originally prompted this is the fact that the Mrs. happened to break her SPN 120s. As you can see here, if you look closely, you can see that blade has been snapped right off. So because of that, that's what initially led us to go ahead and look into getting her some new nippers. And since there's two of us, we normally tend to get things in twos. So. When we went down to USA Gundam store, we decided to pick up some new some new nippers. So she picked up these, the God Hand KPN 95s. And we also picked up two of these. This is the Dispy STA single bladed nipper. These are actually recommended to us by one of our followers. And USA Gundam store was nice enough to give us a pair of their nippers to try as well. I'm actually gonna take one of the runners from the Shinmusha here, this is actually, this belongs to the missus. And it's a kit that she's currently working on, but there's some parts in there she hasn't cut out yet. So we're just gonna borrow a couple pieces and it'll just be our little secret, okay? This is good enough, this should do. So what we're gonna be looking at is how well and smoothly these blades cut through the gates, which are here which is, if you look closely, is right in between the part and the actual runner itself. So these gates tend to be a little bit softer than the surrounding plastic. And just so you know, the way that these God hands actually met their, their end was from trying to cut the gates themselves. Should never try to use these really thin blades you see that these, these blades are super thin. You should never try to use these to cut these actual runners down here. It's just the blades just aren't meant for it. You may be able to do it. As you can see, I was able to go through that, but it's not healthy for the blade and you can end up breaking your blade just like this one did. So first off, let's start off with my, my big cutters, the Mr. Hobbies. These are the blades that I usually use if I want to cut through an actual runner itself. The blades are much more substantial, much thicker, and they have no problem cutting through these thick runners like that. You see that comes right off, no problem. The blade is undamaged, no harm to it. So these are what you want to use, or something like these, something with a nice thick blade to go through runners if for whatever reason you're trying to cut through runners and these work great they're not the thinnest blades in the world so i wouldn't use these to cut up close to a part i really wouldn't use any blade to cut up close to a part i always try to cut toward the runner but because these aren't very thin it can be hard to get in there and cut the part out but you can do it as you can see there. 
I was able to do it with those thick, with those thick ones. So as you can see, the nub there left. So I was able to do it, but these it's just a little bit harder. But they work great, firm, good grip, no issue. For the king of all nippers, essentially, is the God Hands. And the God Hands are very, very thin blades. And with these, you can use these to cut right up on top of the parts if you want to. I tend to try not to do that most of the time, just so I have a little nub left to work with. With these, they have a very, very smooth motion. And they're single-sided, so they just cut through parts like butter, guys. You notice that when you cut with these, there's like usually never a snap. There's no snap when you're cutting with these. It's always very soft and gentle. But if you want to, with blades like these, you can go back and snip off the ends and get a pretty, pretty decent finish around the edge. Not really too much nub there. You can see I have nubs here on the end. I can use the guide hands to get up close and personal with those. And let me see if I can just get an angle for you guys so you can see that. Hard to show here. You see, I actually am holding on to just that nub with these nippers. And these are so smooth that I can cut right through that nub. And that nub will pretty much almost practically disappear just from using the nippers. And that's before any sanding or anything like that. And that's why the God hands are the God hands. You can still see that one nub there and the other one's pretty much gone. So these are my mainstay. That's what I use the majority of the time. These here, these are like the baby God hands. I don't think these are single bladed like the regular God hands. I think this does have a blade on both sides. I think it is sharpened on both sides. It's a little bit more substantial of a blade than the SPNs. And I'll try to show you guys side by side here. So if you look at these, they're a little bit thicker than the SPNs, so they might have a better chance of trying to go through those thick runners if you were to try to put it up against it. I still probably wouldn't recommend it, but just because they have a little bit more substantial blade, it looks like they'd probably be able to deal with it better. But with these, these are, as you can see, these have a much smaller handle and the missus has very tiny hands. And so these actually, I think, fit her hand much better than the SPNs did. And with these, they're also super smooth. As I cut through that part, there's no snap. Let me come up from the bottom one here. Now, being that they are a little thicker, it is a little bit harder to get just the gate. And you're always trying to get, you should always be trying to get as close to the runner as possible. So I'm cutting away from the part. You see um, the distance between there? So if I, I could cut up on the part right like this, very close to the part, but you wanna try to cut close to the gate so you have some of that nub left. And with these, super smooth again. Listen to that, no snap. Well, very, very little snap right there but super smooth. They feel pretty good in your hands. I think they're a little bit small for me. So if you've got bigger hands, these might not do it for you. Next, let's check out the USA Gun Store nippers. And like I said earlier, these are meant to be essentially the same thing as your SPNs. They do come with this little cap here, help keep them protected when they're not in use. And let's just take a look at their blade here. So this is another single-sided nipper. You can see the blade portion of this is on this side. Looking at it from this angle, pretty thin, pretty thin right there. A little bit thicker on that side. But I'd say that they're pretty comparable. Well, they're, they're a little bit thicker. If you look really closely, they're a little bit thicker than the God Hands on that side. And here's the thinner side. 
just slightly. The action is pretty good. They feel pretty much the same. The only thing that I would critique these on right off the bat that, uh, that I, I can kind of feel it is the spring. The spring on this, it, well, I don't know if it's the spring or if maybe it's just these are a little bit tight in here. Maybe this just needs to be oiled in here a little bit. But I feel like they don't bounce back as quickly as my god hands do. Yeah, they probably just they probably just need to be like lubricated and greased up. I bet you I've got some god hand um, cleaning material. I bet you if I ran that through these, these would probably feel almost exactly like those. But let's try to cut through something. See what it feels like. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and cut off this nub here, off the end of this piece. Since I'm cutting off parts from her suit and trying not to cut off too much. So I'm gonna cut off that nub there. As you can see, just like the God hands, I'm doing it right on top of the part. So a little bit more snap. You definitely hear a little bit more snap with these. But as far as cutting, they did a very, very good job. I mean, it's pretty clean cut. Nothing I can really complain about there. See if I can, there's just, yeah, I mean, I, I can't complain about that at all. But let's, let's try to cut it from a runner. Let's try to cut something from a runner. So let's go with, uh, this looks like a thigh piece or something. So again, I'm gonna pull these right up to the runner. There. And let's see what these do. So yeah, there's definitely more snap to these than that of the God hand on blades here, but there's definitely a little bit more snap. But as far as functionality, I mean, they work great. Let's I'm cut this part completely off. Very smooth action. I'm gonna try to get up right up on top of this part and see if I've got that nub there. So I'm gonna get right up on top of that. See how well we can clean that off. Boom. And did a good job. There is a little, little hang up there on the side. I don't even know, it's not like a nub. I mean, you're gonna sand that anyways. And that's not any better than what I think the God hands would do. Let's see. Do the God hands on this side. Yeah, God hands did the same thing, exact same thing. So yeah, as far as function, these seem to function just as well as the God hands do. And the reason I'm so curious about these is because I think these are like at least $10, $15, maybe $20 cheaper than that of the God hands. And you know, I'm always looking for a deal. So if I can get the same amount of performance out of something that's $20, $30 cheaper. Why wouldn't I, right? The only difference I'm feeling is the spring back. They don't, they don't spring back. Or I don't feel that resistance maybe is what I'm really trying to say, what I'm really feeling here. I don't feel the same amount of resistance. And like I said, I think that may just be attributed to this needing to be oiled up a little bit. So these are actually probably become my secondaries only because I do have God hands already. I do love that. Man, they're just, they're so smooth. God hands are just crazy smooth. The newest set, which is the Dispy, I don't even know how to say this. But like I said, we picked these up. Uh, a viewer recommended these to us um, after she broke her, her SPN's 120s here. So we figured we would test these out. These also came from USA Gundam Store. Uh, I wanna say they were like $45. But one thing I like about these right off the bat is this comes in a much more substantial case than that of God Hands. I don't know, you open this box, it just smells good. It just smells brand new. You know what I'm saying? It just, I don't know, you just got that new car smell. So you've got a nice little, little case for it to put it in. Oh, forgot to mention the other God Hands, the KPN 95s also come with a little case, just FYI. And of course, your regular guide hands come with the case there as well. 
But anyways, back to this thing. There we go. Ooh. So let's test the, the feel right off the bat. They feel really springy, like super springy. I think they actually feel more springy than the God Hands. The, the spring just feels stronger. For some reason, they're really pushing out. Pretty much the same design here. Very thin blade there on that side, thicker on that side. And it looks like it also comes with a tool. So you can change the limits of travel. You have the little limit regulator there. And that just goes down in there. You can change the limit regulator. So that actually probably, I wonder if that actually worked on some of these other ones. God hands, it works inside the God, or I'm sorry, it works inside the USA Gundam store ones. And it works inside the God hands too. So that's nice. Multiple use. And I think that's all that's in the box. Yep, that's it. So let's give these guys a try. And we also got two of these. So she has one and I got my own set as well. So if she likes these, these will probably become her backup, I guess. And I'm thinking that these are gonna probably be her main go-tos now, but let's see. Let's find a part here to cut out. All right, so first time we're gonna listen for that snap. See how they sound. Very soft sound. They sound similar to the US, uh, to, yeah, to the USA Gundam store ones, but quiet, smooth. And let's go ahead and try to cut a nub off up close right on top of the part. They actually tell you to cut on the part for these. I'm gonna get as close as I can. And they did, good, they did a good job. Good job. Let's try these other nubs over here. Yeah, man, honestly, I'm really kind of stuck. I mean, they feel good in your hand. I mean, but they don't, they don't perform. All, th all three of these nippers here perform right on par with each other the difference between them is so small that you wouldn't even notice it so I mean all in all I think you could go with any any one of these three if I'm looking at just price I would definitely have to go with the USA Gundam store nippers so if we take a look at these three nippers as far as like size comparison they are pretty much all exactly alike so got hands on the bottom USA Gundam store right on top of those. And the display, I don't know how to say these, right on top of those. And as you can see, they have pretty much identical form factors. Like you can't even see the USA Gundam store or the God hands beneath them. So they're identical for all intents and purposes. Comparison of the side on this side, we can see the blades. So there's the blades of all three, pretty much the, the exact same. Um, I will say, although they're close, they're extremely close. The God hands are probably just a smidge thinner, flipping them over. Again, the God hands, or actually no, on this on this side, the display actually looks the thinnest on this side. And then the God hands, and then the USA Gundam Store nippers. They, they seem, they're pretty much exactly alike. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of these. Just remember with these, these really thin blades, not to try to cut through the actual runner itself, you know, because otherwise you end up with broken nippers. And if you are going to try to do something like that, definitely have your spare heavy handed nippers on standby. The ones that can just cut through this stuff like butter. No problem. You're not going to break this thing. You know, this is just the uh, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Tools blade. Cheap. This is like a cheapo. I think I got this from like Gundam Planet for like 10 bucks. So comparatively, your God hands are like 45 bucks. I think the USA Gundam store ones are probably like 35 bucks. 
and the displays were about 45 bucks too. So if we're talking just strictly price here for performance, definitely the USA Gundam Store ones, they're doing the exact same thing that these other two are doing. Of course, since I do have God Hands, my number one is always gonna be my God Hands here. But I'd have to say, I would pick either one of these other two nippers as backups or as, or if my God Hands ever go down, either one of these could easily become my primary drivers. Definitely have a secondary primary driver for, you know, harder cutting plastic. And the little small God Hands for your smaller hands. Let me know down in the comments if you guys use any of these nippers. Hopefully this review was helpful for you. If it was, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.